Well, the city of Fairhope will soon be making plans for a new nature park right there in the city limits. The Dias Triangle will be developed using GoMesa funds. Fox in Baldwin County reporter Hal Sherrick has the story. It's more than 100 acres of untouched forest land on the north side of Fairhope. What's come to be known as the Dias Triangle is bordered by Highway 98, Highway 104, and Veterans Ave. This peaceful wedge of land was the focus of controversy and lawsuits between the city and the Dias family for many years, until an agreement was reached eight years ago to purchase the property for nearly $9 million. I think it was great, a great vision for you know previous leaders to, to know what this meant to preserve this, again, as the entrance of our city. I mean, I think it's nice anytime you go into a small town um, or a city like Fairhope to see the green space and not just see you know rows of buildings. Long term, there's sort of an open canvas as to what could be done on the property. One thing the city is committed to is to keep it in as much of a natural state as possible. With the first installment of Gulf of Mexico Energy and Securities Act money from the oil and gas leases offshore, known as Go Mesa, Fairhope Mayor Sherry Sullivan says there are a few things already on the list. For us to be able to uh, you know, receive Go Mesa funds to be able to improve this property and, and create some trails and a trailhead and um, you know, outdoor classroom, that kind of thing, I think it's going to be a great addition to our community. Pedestrian and biking trails will be part of phase one, along with an outdoor classroom, restrooms, and kiosks throughout the park, offering visitors information about the nature that surrounds them. Folks like Amy Harrelson with her companion Willow say walking nature trails in a city forest will be a nice change of pace. I do think that it's exciting because it would be nice to have somewhere to walk my dog without being fear of run over. <laughs> and then, I mean, it's so loud on this road too, so it'd be nice to get back into the woods. Mayor Sullivan says that the city is already working with a mountain bike group, Boy Scout troop, and other volunteers willing to volunteer their time and ideas on getting some ideas going for this park. Now, if all goes well, work could begin on it as early as February, which means it could open as early as next fall. Reporting live in Faro, Pal Sheriff, Fox 10 News.